this video we're going to look at how you can assign hotkeys, stack keys, and a new feature to 3D Coat version 4 which is sticky keys which is a feature you may already be accustomed to if you're coming from a Photoshop background. Let's go ahead and get straight into it and see how you can assign hotkeys to an item in the user interface. Uh, for example if I hover over a tool at the very bottom of the tool tip I can see whether or not there is a key assigned to it. If I want to assign something to it I can by hovering over the tool and hitting the end key on the keyboard. That's END and now I can make that assignment. Hover over it again you can see. All right, so if I wanted to remove that I can hover over it and hit the backspace key and now that assignment is removed. Let's say you have a few brushes or a few tools that you use the most. You could simply hover over a tool. Let's say it's assigned, this freeze tool is assigned the letter M as in mic. And yet on the move tool, which I may use often, I want to assign that to M as well. Instead of being conflicted about it, you could simply just stack these keys on top of one another. So let's see how that works. I'm going to hover over this move tool, hit the end key on the keyboard, and hit the letter M as in mic. And you'll see a warning saying that it's already assigned to the freeze tool. What do I want to do? Do I want to redefine it? Which means that it's going to remove this assignment uh, from the freeze brush and instead assign it to the move tool. Or do I want to stack it so that it's assigned to both, but each time I hit the key, it's going to toggle to the next tool. So that's what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And for demonstration's sake, we'll just choose another tool, hit our hotkey, and it's going to go to the very first assignment, which is the freeze brush. As soon as I hit the M key a second time, it moves to this newly assigned stacked key assignment. Okay, so if I hit it again, it's just going to toggle back and forth between these two tools that are assigned to the same key. So let's do this again. Tap twice. Okay, and it moves to the move tool. Okay, so that's good. And we can do a similar thing if I only have this key assigned to one tool. So let's look at that. I'm going to hover over this tool, hit the backspace key on my keyboard to remove that hotkey assignment. So now let's say I'm using a particular tool and I want to switch to the freeze brush by hitting my M key. Instead of going back to the brush I was using, okay, I can just hit the letter M once again. So it's almost treating these two as if they are stacked. Okay, it will just cycle back and forth between what's assigned to M and the last tool I was using. And this is very similar to having a sticky key, except that with sticky keys, as we mentioned earlier in the video, you can use almost as if it's a spring loaded tool. You can hold the hotkey of a tool, use it, and as soon as you let up, it will spring you right back into the tool or brush you were previously using. You can even, while you're in sticky key mode, you can even switch to a different brush alpha. And I can go to the E panel and change that to be more of a hard edge draw type. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, you can see when I let up from my hotkey, it's going to switch right back to the tool that I was using. I hold my M key again and continue to work. So, this is a very handy uh, workflow enhancement so that you don't have to constantly reach over to your tool panel 
and switch between brushes. Okay. So now with that done, I'm back in the draw mode and I can actually switch the mass selection. In this case, that's what I want to do. The same combination you would use in Photoshop to drop a selection, which is Control D on a PC or Command D on a Mac. You could drop the selection or likewise Control Shift I to invert a selection. Okay, so in this case, what I could do is maybe use Absolute Brush. I could raise everything up and create kind of a masked effect. And I could go into the paint room and paint this while it's still in voxel mode. Okay, you can hold the shift key to kind of smooth it a little bit. And now I can just drop the selection by hitting control D. And there you have it. Obviously we need to lose the eyebrows, but you get the idea. So I hope that helps, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.